Most people don't understand how broadly petroleum is utilized in a range of consumer products. Oil is everywhere. Everything in our lives, from the shoes and clothes that we wear, to the furniture and objects that fill our homes, they need to be made differently. Nature has provided us with solutions. We just need to know where to look. From a really young age, I was interested in exploring, pushing the boundaries of what I had seen or experienced before. With all endurance sports, you're forced to be in the moment. You're forced to be present. It's like wiping the mental slate clear and then just being in touch with nature. I've always been an early riser. When you're up and early, it's quiet, and that's the time to be able to think and focus. Grew up in Southern California, spent a lot of time in the outdoors, spent a lot of time collecting and cataloging California plants. I gravitated toward plants in a lot of my work. I was an undergrad at UC Davis and then did a project with somebody in the plant pathology department that was focused on molecular biology and then I was hooked. A lot of people would be surprised to realize only 40% of a barrel of crude oil goes to transportation fuel. The rest go to a range of applications, including things like polymers and plastics, and even things like asphalt. We're working with microalgae to produce oils in a fermentation-based process. And these oils make consumer products and industrial products better and at the same time have the added benefit of being a more sustainable alternative to petroleum. Oil from microalgae produced at full commercial scale represents at least a two-thirds reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. The process starts with microalgae that we grow in fermenters. We feed the microalgae fermentable sugar that the microalgae metabolize, they eat it, and they convert the carbon from the sugar and they direct it to produce oil. Much of what we do is modifying endogenous genes in microalgae to tailor the type of oil they make. We access the genetic information in higher plants and put those to work in this microalgal system. We have a group of polymer chemists that will then take our modified oil or the oil itself and incorporate other building blocks to make an entirely new polymer, always focused on some specific end-use application. Today, Checker Spot is commercializing an oil in the skincare market. Skis that are engineered with Checker Spot urethanes and a textile finish applied to fabrics to aid in wicking. Plants are pretty amazing. They're basically the source of all life on the planet. And they provide food, fiber, fuel, everything. If you can think of it, a plant does it. If the 20th century was defined by the Industrial Revolution and the rise of petroleum, the 21st century is being defined by biology. My name is Charles Dimmler. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Checkerspot. I'm Scott Franklin. I'm Chief Scientific Officer at Checkerspot.